We were here. Guys, guys, I need you guys to pay attention. You brought it all the way up here. RJ. Come here. Come hither. Okay. Come here. Come hither. Okay, so I want to make a movie, you know, yeah. I don't know what it's going to be about, it's probably going to be really weird, I just want to make something, because we all have made videos, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do, so we're just going to go out there, Hulk Hogan means, we're just going to go out there, have fun, make a video. Hulk Hogan so meets Don Coyote. Yes. Break! Break! Break. 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 Video production to me is really everything. I consider it my home. Uh, like I said before, I look forward to being here almost every day. I'm in here for a part of the school day when I should be in other classes, but it's just a place that I can go to be free. Um, video production's been something I've been interested in my whole life since I was little. I don't know, I always like the behind the scenes aspect of everything. and. Um, I don't know, it's just something, I love being behind the scenes, such as theater, stage crew, and then video I got into, and then the production classes over at the high school I took, and that's what really got me into it. 2007, I started the program. We wrote Video Production 1, Video Production 2, and then we realized after Video 1 that students really took a path two directions. One direction was to do the morning announcements and do a live broadcast and the broadcasting aspect, and the other direction was to do a video two class where we get kids into directing, audio techniques, motion tracking, motion effects, and uh, lighting effects, and to be a member of a crew. I can tell you whenever I get my schedule for the year and I look at it and I see a video production class on it and I think to myself, I don't know who could be better than the previous group. And then another group comes in and does a, an amazing job. and. Ryan, who's making this video, and other people that have gone through the program, they're the people that inspire me. Uh, when I was a young kid, uh, my father, I think around the age of four, three, he used to set me down on his lap, and he always showed me things of what happened in the years of 2000 with those FLV videos and those .mp4s playing on those little screens on the computers, and it always amazed me what people did on TV and on the internet, so I wanted to try to learn how to do it myself. Well, originally I'd probably say that YouTube definitely helped a lot because, I don't know, I just like to watch a lot of those tutorial videos on how to make things and special effects I always thought were really cool, like in Star Wars how they have the lightsaber fights. I always just thought that was really interesting and I wanted to be able to do that myself. And uh, I can't exactly do it yet, but hopefully eventually I will be able to do so. A lot of other cool things like color correction and things you could do within the actual film, like putting yourself in a whole separate universe, I just think is extremely interesting to be able to do. It's programs like these that really open the doors for creativity, and I don't think those doors were open a couple decades ago to women. And there's just an example is Catherine Bigelow weren't winning um, Best Director for the, the Heart Locker in 2010. And it's definitely programs like these that's gonna open those doors to other women. I guess it's my turn to talk. Uh, it's actually 5.30 a.m. right now. I got up early to do this video because I'm a huge procrastinator and I'm on the deadline and I know I'm gonna have homework when I get home, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get this video done and so far I'm proud of it, so. What does filmmaking mean to me? It I know it's been said, but just about about everything. Um, if you know me, you know I make videos. I I spend a lot of my time in the TV studio at school. The in fact, I would even spend my lunches there until they would kick until they kicked me out. As you can see with the other people in this video, like filmmaking, there's a huge community in Baldwin High School of filmmakers and I feel that I'm very lucky to be within that group because they're all very talented. Okay, that's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah.